I tell the young me, work out at least twice a week. Um, write songs every day, no matter how bad they suck. Get a good attorney, fire your manager, break up with your boyfriend. You know, all the regular stuff. <laughs> if you could go back and turn it all around. I would really tell myself to embrace who I am right now, no matter what that is. Chicago natives are extremely proud of being from Chicago. And as a musician, I mean, we used to have these wars on a tour bus about which city had the greater musicians. And I always would win because I would represent with Herbie Hancock and Donny Hathaway and the emotions and Earth, Wind and & Fire and all this myriad of people that come from Chicago. What I take from the music of this city is the ethic of a band, the ethic of sort of cooperative building of music. So growing up, I, I listened to all these blues and gospel and rock and jazz and pop and country music, and it all influenced me. And I think that Chicagoans have a certain sort of uh, pride about their city and about the music that comes out of their city. I know that the musicians do. I've met some of the greatest um, musicians from all time that are from right here in the shy. And I know a lot that are still here teaching music, advocating for kids to have music, which I think is really beautiful. Um, but you know, Donny Hathaway is from here, so what can you say? I really hate that um, they have taken music and art out of the schools for children. It's really important to me for children to have that kind of outlet. I have music and art, and I know that without it, I would be a different person. I know that it made me better in math and science. I know that it made me better in English. It made me a more cognitive learner. Um, it's really like algebra, but it's interesting, you know? So I'm, I'm all for kids having music and I think it's, it's one of the most important things that they'll ever have access to. As important as arithmetic and English, you know, just right with those core classes, I think, music and art should be right with those classes. And until we, recognize that that's how important it is, it's, it's gonna go badly. Getting my first five Grammy nominations. could tell me nothing that day. <laughs> Walk through the IC unit from one side of the room to the next. He said, I listen to all the moans. He said, then you'll get a different perspective on what, what life is about. But I had to act like I was Quincy Jones. That was uh, Oscar worthy. I don't know how I pulled that one off. We thought it was a for sure a no-show, and it's like 1.30 in the morning, and I get a phone call, and it's Mr. Wonder himself. He's like, I'm outside. And I'm like, what? And so everybody's like tripping. Everybody's like trying to clean up really quick. They didn't think he was showing up.